New tonight, the Brony fandom is shocked by hate crime. All that and more on Pony Tonight. Hey, every pony, this is Corpulent Brony in for Sheldon Penderhuse the third, who for some reason or other is too busy to first off on Brony Tonight. Index from Everfree Network has been the victim of hate crime for being a brony. That's right. This guy just moved to Texas. He woke up one day to find that his automobile had been vandalized. According to Horse News and tweets from Index himself, he uh, walked into his driveway and he found that there was egg all over his truck. Etched into the paint was pony fag. Additionally, his tires were slashed. And this is costing him probably a ton of money to fix his truck. If you know Index, uh, go ahead and go over there. Give him some support. You know, we can't be having any hate. Uh, you know, we got to love and tolerate. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all you pony merch aficionados. And, and also game aficionados. Anybody, game fans. Anybody who likes to play games and just... There's not enough pony in your fin board games, yo. I gots the mono Monopoly Life Pony, Ponyopoly Life Pony. I got all the board games I can get so far. I don't have the chutes and ladders. <laughs> Connect 4 for Pony is now available in stores, apparently. Also, you can find it on Amazon.com already. Again, like um, everything else in this video, you will find links in the description for anything that I talk about. Next up, in the old Grey Mare podcast last night, the old gray mare herself had on a number of brony artists in the community. Among these artists were Silver Slinger and Paper Pony, who collaborated together for a piece of artwork for a charity auction associated with the show uh, to benefit the Animal Allies Humane Society. And these two were actually able to raise $700 for their beautiful work of Twilight facing down T-Rex with their friends all in bubbles. There's going to be some metal work worked into this picture with Twilight's armor and a T-Rex nose ring and some other stuff. I've seen some of the preliminaries out of this and the work looks fantastic. I was so impressed by it, I even bid myself. So a lucky person named uh, Uzuf8441 was the auction winner for $700 for this beautiful one-of-a-kind piece of work. Congratulations, Uza, and congratulations to the Animal Allies Humane Society. In other merchandise news, Still no sign of the Funko, Luna, and Celestia at Hot Topic stores nationwide. Stay tuned as we continue to explore Luna Gate. My Little Pony Fair, for those of you who don't know, is one of the original pony conventions. Uh, my understanding is it's actually officially sponsored in some way by Hasbro. They often have the Comic-Con exclusives weeks early before Comic-Con because Hasbro likes My Little Pony Fair, okay? It concentrates on the older gen of Pony. Uh, you can find a lot of uh, newer gen stuff there. There's a fourth gen too. I've been to one myself. Uh, it's a pretty fun time. Uh, this year, this next year in 2015, it's going to be in Chicago. Moves around the country. This year, they announced their first guest, Andrea Libman. Awesome stuff, yo. This weekend saw the launch of the newest expansion to the My Little Pony collectible card game. If you guys haven't tried playing this card game yet, I highly recommend it. Of course, the problem I hear from all the other bronies out there is it's very difficult to find other people to play this card game with. I understand. Myself, I'm having that same problem. The Crystal Games uh, has been launched this weekend back on Friday. Uh, it looks like there's going to be a Derpy main character card, uh, along with um, some other cool stuff. So, you know, check it out if you're into the game. You know, even if you don't play the game, you can still collect the cards. I mean, it's just like the old pony trading cards. Uh, I don't know when the heck those new ones are supposed to be. I thought they were supposed to be out by now, but I haven't heard anything about it. Uh, if you've heard something, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Obviously, I'd love to hear what you guys are hearing. Next up, the Humble Bundle is still on sale. And that bundle, you get to name a price. The money's supposed to go to charity. You get some awesome comics, I guess. They're all digital. I haven't really bought it because of that. But, you know, the top five con or top ten contributors get listed. Um, the number one for the longest for some time was uh, Fire. Please Fire Ted Anderson, you know, because Ted Anderson is actually still working for IDW. Um, but recently, uh, Summonon uh, was able to 
outbid Mr. Please Fire Ted Anderson. And the new number one contributor is Rarity is Best Pony. I know that's you, Ghostface Killer. I know it's you. In other news, we're still in hiatus. This is proving to possibly be one of the longest hiatuses. Hi, hi, hi. One of the longest hiatuses for ponies ever. I've been yanking my hair out. As you see, I'm going bald. Where the hell are the new ponies? Ah, we do have new, uh, the new. I don't know if you guys have played with these yet. The pony pops. Uh, they're little ponies that you stick together and you can put their little wings on, put their hair on, put their uh, hair and tail. A uh, new one is coming out that's uh, been found in Singapore. It's Princess Celestia. It looks, of course, like a lot of these toys. It looks nothing like Princess Celestia, but still, it's out there. At least it's not pink. It's actually a design your pony. So, so they're mixing that whole design a pony thing with the vinyls, but now with Pony Pop. In other news, straight out of um, horse news, Lord Twilight Sparkle descended from Equestria to smite the unworthy. Twilight came down from the heavens of Equestria and rained hellfire down upon them for being unclean. And no pony was able to escape her gaze of justice and destruction. Oh, that yeah, that is adorable. I don't think I could escape that either. Um, let's see, how did they get rid of her? Um, a battle mech? Apparently they used a battle, god damn it. Apparently they used a battle mech shaped like Mr. Potato Head to bring down this um, Twilight Sparkle thing. I don't know why. I mean, that poor... It's just a pony, yo. Come on now. Lord Twilight Sparkle is going to be returned to uh, Valhalla, which I think is somewhere in the LA area um, where she'll, I guess, slumber for a thousand years or something. I don't know. I'm just looking at the article. In other news, hey, kitties. I got my duct tape ready. I got my duct tape ready. And I believe Pinkie Pie's looking to have some fun. 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 Fun, 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 fun. Fun! Oh, final. All these ponies. Why do they torture me? Why do they torture me so? And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been your episode of Pony Tonight for December 7th, 2014. A day which shall live in infamy as the day our Princess Twilight Sparkle returned to exact her righteous vengeance upon us. 